subject mathematics topic lesson number 10 fractions today we are going to learn comparing fractions now in the picture given each of the strips are of equal length and have some shaded part we are going to write the fraction shown by the shaded part of each strip next to it so let's begin the first strip with the yellow shaded part how many shaded parts in the first strip yes one and how many total parts in all correct two so our fraction will be one upon two next strip yes one upon three one is the red shaded part and three are the total parts in all let's go to the third strip how many shaded parts correct one and how many total parts in all yes four so one upon four next the pink shaded strip how many shaded parts one and total parts in all yes five so a fraction one upon five and the last green shaded part how many shaded parts over there in the last strip yes one and total parts in all correct six so one upon six now remember as the denominator of the fraction increases and the numerator is one what happens to the value of the fraction the value of the fraction becomes less so bigger the denominator the fraction is small and smaller the denominator the fraction is big let's see with the help of few examples let's solve this exercise now here 1 upon 2 and 1 upon 3 here we are going to compare the fractions and put the greater than or the lesser than sign in the box now 1 upon 2 is the strip with the yellow shaded part and 1 upon 3 is the strip with the red shaded part. Now both the strips are of equal length but the denominators are different. In the first one 1 upon 2 the denominator is 2 and in the second strip the denominator that is the number below the line is 3. Now remember as the denominator of the fraction keeps increasing as it becomes bigger and bigger what happens to the value of that fraction the value of that fraction becomes less so bigger the denominator it is a smaller fraction so 1 upon 2 and 1 upon 3 when you compare both the fractions the fraction 1 upon 2 is bigger than 1 upon 3 so we put this uh, sign of greater than towards 1 upon 2 that is opening the mouth to the bigger fraction let's see the next two let's compare the next two fractions 1 upon 6 that is the green shaded part and 1 upon 5 that is the pink shaded part here again both the strips are of equal length but in the first one that is in 1 upon 5 that is the pink shaded uh, strip there are five equal parts the denominator is 5 and uh, in the fraction 1 upon 6 the denominator is 6 so as the denominator of the fraction increases the value of that fraction becomes less so which is the bigger fraction yes 1 upon 5 is a bigger fraction than 1 upon 6 1 upon 6 is a smaller fraction the next fraction 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 6 that is the blue shaded part and the green shaded part so which is a bigger fraction here correct 1 upon 4 as i have told you as the denominator increases it, the value of that fraction becomes less so 1 upon 4 is a bigger fraction let's see with the help of few more examples 1 upon 8 and 1 upon 10 here which is a bigger fraction yes 1 upon 8 is a bigger fraction next let's compare these two fractions 1 upon 10 and 1 upon 2 
which is a smaller fraction here yes 1 upon 10 is a smaller fraction and the bigger fraction 1 upon 2 next let's compare these two fractions 1 upon 7 and 1 upon 21 so which is a bigger fraction correct 1 upon 7 is a bigger fraction here 1 upon 18 and 1 upon 8 so the bigger fraction Yes, 1 upon 8. 1 upon 5 and 1 upon 2. The smaller fraction here is correct. 1 upon 5 is a smaller fraction. And the bigger fraction, 1 upon 2. 1 upon 100 and 1 upon 200. As I've told you, as the denominator of the fraction keeps increasing, the value of that fraction becomes less. So 1 upon 100 is a bigger fraction. Now here, 1 upon 12 and 1 upon 12. When we compare these two fractions, uh, both the numerator and the denominator are the same. So it is neither a bigger fraction nor a smaller fraction. Both are equal. So we put the equal to sign. Next fraction, 1 upon 25 and 1 upon 30. So the bigger fraction is correct, 1 upon 25. 1 upon 54 and 1 upon 54. Now here again, both the fractions are the same, 1 upon 54 and 1 upon 54. So the fraction is neither a bigger fraction nor a smaller fraction. They are both equal so we put the equal to sign next 1 upon 90 and 1 upon 85 the bigger fraction is 1 upon 85 now here in this picture again each of the strip of equal length has some shaded part we are going to write the fraction shown by the shaded part of each strip next to it and then we will compare the fractions. So the first strip, how many shaded part in the blue strip? Yes, one. And how many total parts in all? Correct, eight total parts. So our fraction is one upon eight. The next strip with the yellow shaded part, how many shaded parts? Correct, one. And total parts in all? Yes, nine. So our fraction is. 1 upon 9. Now the next strip with the pink shaded part. How many shaded parts? 1. And total parts in all? Yes, 12. So our fraction is 1 upon 12. And the last strip with the red shaded part. The shaded part? 1. And total parts in all? 15. So our fraction is 1 upon 15. Now let's compare the fractions. 1 upon 8 and 1 upon 15, that is the blue shaded part and the red shaded part. Although the strips are of equal length, the denominator of the fraction is increased. And what happens to the value of the fraction? Yes, it becomes less. Bigger the denominator, the value becomes less. So which is a bigger fraction in this? 1 upon 8 or 1 upon 15? Yes, 1 upon 8 is bigger than 1 upon 15. Let's compare the next two fractions. 1 upon 12, 1 upon 9. 1 upon 12 is the pink shaded part and 1 upon 9 is the yellow shaded part. So which is a bigger fraction? Absolutely right. 1 upon 9 is a bigger fraction. Next fractions, 1 upon 12, that is the pink shaded part and 1 upon 15, that is the red shaded part. So which is a bigger fraction here? Yes, 1 upon 12 is a bigger fraction and 1 upon 15 is a smaller fraction. Now students, let's begin with the exercise which is in your mathematics textbook on page number 57 which is the smaller fraction 
1 upon 2 or 1 upon 3. Smaller fraction? Yes, the smaller fraction is 1 upon 3. So we open our mouth to the bigger fraction that is 1 upon 2. 1 upon 2 is a bigger fraction and 1 upon 3 is a smaller fraction. Next question. Which is the smaller fraction? 1 upon 5 or 1 upon 6? Yes, the smaller fraction is 1 upon 6. Which is the bigger fraction? 1 upon 3 or 1 upon 5? Correct, the bigger fraction is 1 upon 3. Now we have to put greater than or lesser than sign in the boxes. Let's begin by comparing the fractions. 1 upon 3, 1 upon 2. Which is a bigger fraction here? Yes, 1 upon 2 is a bigger fraction. Let's compare the next two fractions. 1 upon 3 and 1 upon 4. Which is the smaller fraction? Yes, 1 upon 4 is a smaller fraction. Let's compare the next two fractions. 1 upon 5, 1 upon 3. Which is a bigger fraction? Correct. 1 upon 3 is a bigger fraction. Now let's put greater than or lesser than sign in the boxes below. Let's compare 1 upon 2 and 1 upon 3. Which is a bigger fraction? Yes, 1 upon 2 is a bigger fraction. Let's compare 1 upon 3 and 1 upon 4. Which is a smaller fraction here? Good. The smaller fraction is 1 upon 4. Let's compare 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 5. Which is a bigger fraction? Yes. 1 upon 4 is a bigger fraction. And let's compare 1 upon 5 and 1 upon 6. Which is a smaller fraction? Correct. 1 upon 6 is a smaller fraction. 1 upon 8 and 1 upon 10. The bigger fraction here is? Correct. 1 upon 8. 1 upon 15 and 1 upon 20. Which is a bigger fraction? Good. 1 upon 15 is a bigger fraction. 1 upon 5, 1 upon 3. Which is a smaller fraction? Yes, 1 upon 5 is a smaller fraction. 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 2. Which is a bigger fraction here? Correct. 1 upon 2 is a bigger fraction. 1 upon 3 and 1 upon 3. Which is a bigger fraction or a smaller fraction? Yes, you are absolutely right. Both the fractions are the same. 1 upon 3 and 1 upon 3. The numerators are the same and the denominators are the same. So, it is not a bigger fraction nor a smaller fraction. They both are equal. So we put the equal to sign. 1 upon 200 and 1 upon 100. So which is a bigger fraction here? Correct. 1 upon 100 is a bigger fraction. Which is a smaller fraction? 1 upon 6 or 1 upon 9? Yes, 1 upon 9 is a smaller fraction and 1 upon 6 is a bigger fraction. Students, I want you to write the assignment neatly in your mathematics notebook. Thank you.